Hi there, today I'm doing a tutorial on this little um, chocolate box which is available from my shop um, www.sweetboutique.etsy.com <clears throat> um, So the things that you'll need to be able to complete this project is um, obviously the downloads. It's a digital file which you can download which means that you can print it over and over again and make as many of these as you like. Um, it comes with uh, two inserts. That's the outside of the box. It comes with this insert and then it comes with um, a, another coloured insert so that in case you want um, a, a nice um, sort of effect with a lighter colour inside the box. Um, this is what the box looks like when it's got the regular colour inside which is the same colour as, as the one shown here. Um, and this is what the little box looks like when you put it together before you put in the insert and you've got the insert that just pops in there and then this is the lid that goes over the top once you've put your chocolates in and um, this lid will basically go down as far as the chocolates are so basically when you pop your chocolates in there and you put the lid on if the chocolates are as tall as that well then the little lid will sit that high if it's lower then it'll go down lower and then basically what all I do is I usually just wrap a little ribbon around it so it um, looks really pretty um, okay so in order to get started um, what I thought we'd do first is the insert and the lid and I'll show you how to do those and um, the box itself can be a little tiny bit tricky so that's why I thought I'd um, do this tutorial to help people to be able to put it together it's it's not really tough once you get the hang of it you'll know how to do it perfectly it's just one of those things that's just easier shown than you know to try and describe it or um, you know write a, a, a document about it or do with pictures anyway so for the insert um, you start off with your paper like this and um, Basically what I've done is, hang on, this looks a little bit out of focus, let me just fix that. Okay, so basically what I've done with this is um, I've already got one that I've prepared that I've cut out. Um, and you'll see that it's got these little crosses in the middle and I'll explain that in a second. But basically what you need to do is just cut around the edges of the shape. Um, and once you've done that, um, what I usually do is I score all the lines, so the white lines here all get scored and you can see that they've all been done and then I score around these little edges of the square and the reason that I do that is so that once I've actually cut these little crosses in it you can bend it inwards like this and what that does is it serves two purposes one is that when you put it in your little box, which I'll show you in a minute it will cover the sides when you put something in there so you won't be able to see into the box. The other thing is that it will help to support your little chocolate somewhat if you don't want to put tissue paper or whatever at the bottom. Um, you can do it that way or you can do it how this one's been done which is to just simply cut the entire little square out with um, a craft knife. I did that in a bit of a hurry so it's a little bit rough but um, you know if you take care or if you do it with maybe a paper trimmer I just did this freehand I didn't use a rule or anything so if you use a ruler or a paper trimmer to to cut that with a craft knife or with the paper trimmer as I said um, you'll get a much nicer finish than what I've got there um, but for this instance what I decided I would do is to actually give this a go and I'm actually really quite happy with how that helps support the, the little chocolates and everything and this is really simple to do because all you need to do is score around those edges just there um, and then you can freehand this because this isn't going to show so it's no big deal but then what I do is I go um, and cross, cut across across, doesn't matter if it's a little bit curvy and then on the other side as well I go from that side, put your finger there so it doesn't catch to that side and there you've got your cross and um, all I do then is just fold it in that's just to help with the scoring, excuse me for my, my dog Stop it. Sorry, she's a bit of a watchdog, that one. Someone came to the door. So anyway, um, once you've scored that and pushed all the corners in, um, you'll end up with a little insert that looks like this. And then just fold the insert sides like so and it will be ready to go into your little box. As I said, this is the contrasting color one. So 
Can, Sebastian, can you take her upstairs? So when you pop it in your little box, it'll have a contrasting colour. And you can see there that the little... Here on a tip, the little squares are, um, are nice and covered. And it, it just looks really professional, I think. And, and when you put your chocolates in there, as I said, you just push down gently and those will bend to accommodate the size of the chocolate. But they'll still give a little bit of support. Um, so that's the insert done. Now all I usually do for the cover, and I know it seems like cheating, but um, it's the easiest way in my opinion, is, so here's your little cover. I just get this um, clear plastic from, you know those comb binder type documents, the ones that you, you put the clear cover on top and the dark cover at the bottom and all the papers in between, you've got the comb binder down the side. Um, I use those covers and I find that those are absolutely amazing for this sort of job because you need that stiffness in order to be able to, um, you know, ha have it stand up as a little lid. You can't use anything like cellophane or anything like that. So what I do is I actually just pop this over the top and I use just some paper clips there like that once I've got the edges aligned and I simply just cut around it, just cut it into a square. Um, and here's one that I prepared earlier. Hang on a second, I'll show you. So here's one that I um, I did a little earlier. And I'm just putting the paper clips back on because I took them off. Okay, so you can see that that's been cut into a square. Now, I'll angle this slightly so that you can catch the shine on the plastic. Um, see, so I've actually cut out a square that actually fits the exact same shape as the lid. Um, and then I've cut out the corners. You can probably just see the corner there. So I've cut out these corners. Like so. And then when you take this off, you end up with something that looks a bit like um, a cross or a plus sign. Hang on a second. Let me see what I can get. So there we go. That shows a little bit. Can you see that? So um, what I do then is I score across from edge to edge along where I've cut those little corners out. Um, so let me just do that now and I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so, oh, there we go. It shows up a lot better on my um, scoring board. So, I just line that up and go across it. And then turn it. And go across again. Turn it, go across again. And two. Whoops, got that one wrong. Turn it, go across again. Now, don't worry if you make a mistake like I did. These bits tuck into the box anyway. So all I do then is I just reinforce the scores by folding it flat and pressing it with my fingers. Make sure I do it along the right one. And there you've got your little lid that'll pop into your box. There. So that will fit when you just pop it in there. There. See? Um, also, like if you wanted to use this just for little gifts or whatever, um, that's that's fine. Just take the insert out and um, just pop something in there and just tie this on as it is, just with the little clear lid and whatever it is that you've got in there will show through. Um, so there's another op option for you if you don't want to use this as a chocolate box. Um, so anyway, so we've done the insert and the lid. Now all we've really got to do is the box.